Welcome to Contextual Electronics. My name is Chris Gamble. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Uh, I am actually going to be doing an unboxing video, which I've never done before. So we'll see how that goes. This is uh, thanks to my friend Matt Liberty, who is a former guest of the Amp Hour. And he also makes the Jewel Scope, which is a measurement device for low current. Uh, this is for low current measurement, basically high dynamic range if you're trying to measure something really low power. And then you're trying to also measure when it's transmitting, for instance. So I'm actually going to be using this on the ABC board. Matt was kind enough to send me a beta unit, which I had tried out and tested and I enjoyed it. And uh, I broke it and uh, <laughs> not, nothing nothing on the jewel scope side. And he was nice enough to send me another one. I was like, well, now that I have this brand new box, I should try and unbox it. So here's what we're going to be looking at here. It's a little bit shiny right now because it does show up with uh, plastic on it, but then we'll uh, take take that off and see what's inside this package. It's a really cool package. Uh, it's a nice case. I'm not sure if you can see the, it's got the logo on here. I guess I can just actually do the, do the honors here. Um, so it also has your uh, serial number on it uh, based on you know stock and stuff like that. Um, and so yeah, it's got this nice, this nice embossing in the front here. And let's see what's actually inside up here. So apologies if this is a non-standard teardown uh, <laughs> uh, I think this actually might be a little bit different because I already I actually didn't order any of the the ac accessories here. So what you'll see is if you go back to the website here, um, these come with a bunch of different accessories. And so uh, there's a USB front panel, binding post, and BNC. I actually have this USB and the binding post upstairs, and then there's a bunch of cables as well. And so if we look at the uh, the cable here. The, uh, the cable is actually a USB-A style cable. Um, so within the box, like I said, this is a little bit different, I think, because he was sending me a replacement unit. I think there would be actually some uh, actually in included here, but I really do like that uh, here. You also have just a little thank you note, kind of a getting started guide, and then the unit itself. And so this does come with the, uh, with the in and out, the banana plug unit. Uh, basically four easy screws and you can uh, take that off. Actually, I'll do that right now, just because it's it's interesting to see inside. It's so internally, it's it's just, and this also works. I actually, I did not realize this is a star key here, but this is a. Uh, I had used a hex key on this. I found a hex key that actually worked on this. I didn't realize that it had the star key. Um, and so, uh, yeah, internally, basically, it's just a a simple plug board. And so you can actually make your own plug boards as well. And so I think there's actually already been some community. Uh, contributed plug boards that have been on here. Like I said, if you look here, these are the ones that are for sale, but you can go and create your own and you'll see why in a second here. So if we look at the, let's get the final one out of here. So it actually plugs right in to just a six pin header, I believe. Sorry, five pin header. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so you could basically make your own. So one is, so this has all of them here. Yeah, so basically, I think there's a center grounding one. There's in and out there. And it's also possible, ah, yeah, this, so this is different from my unit. So on the back side here, the uh, the beta unit did not have this yet. So this is in and out. Um, so if we take this whole board out of here now. So the in and out is basically a way to trigger measurements. And so if you go and listen to that episode of the Amp Hour, Matt actually talks about that because that's actually really cool. Um, Looking at the, uh, looking at how how you might want to do that sort of thing. So uh, you could you could have a embedded device that you're measuring. You know you got you got the power plugged into here, uh, coming basically the power routes through this thing. And then when the embedded when the embedded device that's plugged into here actually gets to a certain part of its code, you just trigger one of the outputs high, and then the you can plug it into the back. And that so then the dual scope knows, hey, I'm at that certain part of the program now. I should start taking a measurement. So instead of measuring everything that's there, you're just measuring the part that is you want to like definitely measure the transmit, right? So like in my case with the ABC board, I'm transmitting over cellular, which is going to be a huge amount of current. But I want to make sure that I always capture that, so I can just knock that thing high and look at that and. Uh, and see that, oh yeah, during transmit, you know, it's maybe 500 milliamps or an amp for a very short duration, but while it's talking to a cell tower. Uh, similarly, there's that ABC board also has Bluetooth, so I'd also want to see when it's in Bluetooth mode or, or when it's in sleep mode as well. I might want to trigger something high or low in order to do that. You can also, I think, 
trigger back in the other direction. This, there is in and out on this thing. So if we go back to the camera here, and if we look at the board, I mean, the board design's uh, it's single board design, which is cool. There's an FPGA in here. I think it's a, so uh, this is an XP, uh, NXP L LPC part. I thought there was an FPGA on this side. This looks like an ST part. And then I think this might be the FPGA. Um, but what you can see here is that, and this is something we talk about in contextual electronics a bunch as well, let's get some stuff out of the way here, um, is doing isolated design like this as well. So this entire section over here, this is all the user side, you're plugging into the USB, a, your, this is the device side plugging in your, your computer over the host. Basically it's powering over this transformer here, this isolated transformer, and then the data is going over this thing. And so I think these are both FPGAs on this side of things. And then it's got like a, a, a Silicon Labs um, part on here. So, uh, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, definitely beautiful looking board design here. Uh, lots of sensitive analog measurement stuff and switching because that's another thing that's really hard to do. And Matt talks about that when he's on the amp hour as well, is that switching uh, in a fast way between, you know, when you're measuring 100 milliamps is a lot different when you're trying to measure a microamp. And so you need to make sure you have the right sensor resistor switched in there. And you need to make sure you switch that really quickly. So the case is uh, nice and simple here, right? Single case design extruded aluminum. Um, on the back side, it's just another, uh, looks like a PCB panel here. And so nice and easy to access. I really do like this addition here from the beta unit. I think that's gonna be really useful. And uh, and then the front panel stuff, I actually really like the, um, so this one's cool too. It works right in with, with your, um, sorry, my microphone's out of the way a little bit. Um, it uh, This works really well with your test setup, right? If you have banana, banana plugs already there, but if, uh, if you look at the, I actually really like this one because it's the USB front panel is basically already how your device is probably operating. So if you're testing a charging state, I think that can be really useful. BNC, well, I'm sure there's a use for it, but I, I don't really know what it is. Uh, and uh, oh, binding post would be as well. So if you're maybe doing uh, something that just has loose wires instead of banana, banana plugs, you could do that. So you can just basically screw these out and so when you screw them out, then you can just kind of wrap the wire around there and plug it back in. So uh, first unboxing video, not, not a ton going on in the box, but like I said, there's the stuff you can buy as extra. And uh, I've really enjoyed the, my first use of it. I'm gonna be making a couple more videos here, measuring the ABC board, which is the advanced Bluetooth and cellular board that we use as part of the contextual electronics program. I show you how to build the whole thing and we're already, uh, so I've got five of them built. We've got firmware on there. Now we wanna make sure uh, we can measure it. I've actually just 3D printed a case as well. And so I've got a case and a battery and I've got this whole thing all put together now. And I wanna know, could I hand that to someone and say, hey, this thing is going to last for, on this battery with a single charge without a solar panel or anything, even though it can use solar panels, uh, it's gonna last for eight weeks without a solar charge. That would be a really cool thing. And that's kind of the hope of the ABC board is that we have these really low power states. We wake up once an hour, transmit over cellular, maybe once every six hours really all variable here. We'll be doing some power budgeting stuff as well. And so uh, that's what we're going to be doing, hopefully, in upcoming videos here. So if you have any questions, you can always ask down in the YouTube comments down below. There's also a forum post that we always have associated with all these videos. You can do that over there as well. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.